The bus we purchased in Florida and had it driven up here in 2017 and have been performing spay neuter surgeries for feral cats, kittens, and pets. I feel like we make a difference at each site that we go to, but there are so many people that don't know that there are municipalities that offer free programs for them. Uh, there are so many people that don't really know what to do when they find a litter in their backyard. And I think education is key here. I think the more that we educate the public, the better off we will be. I usually go trapping early in the morning, uh, come back in the afternoon and uh, clean, feed the ferals, uh, take care of kittens I'm forced to ring, and then usually I go to my adoption center and I make sure everything's running okay there, then come back before bed and clean the ferals again and then wake up to another adventure. <laughs> my parents had an ice cream store out in Shirley and there were feral cats back there. so. I was out there with them, feeding them, petting them, brushing them, whatnot, um, and it just kind of continued. We have two 8x12 sheds. Um, they're insulated, finished on the inside. They have lighting. Um, in the winter, we have the heat for them, so they stay nice and toasty. Um, and then outside, we have a 16x24 enclosure and then they could go in and out through the cat doors from the buildings to the enclosure. It's very expensive, obviously. The food, the litter, the medical is a big one. Um, so I used to pay everything out of pocket. Now we're trying to mainly raise donations to support it because obviously we can't grow if I'm still paying for everything. So we're just trying to raise the funds to be able to support these guys and all their needs so we can kind of expand and help, you know, help more.